Well, since David Cameron became Prime Minister in 2010, and since he was re-elected um, as a majority Conservative Prime Minister last year, um, uh, Mr Cameron has embarked on serious public spending cuts, or what some people would call austerity measures. And one of the areas which has been uh, seriously impacted in England and Wales is the legal system. Now, one of the first areas to um, feel the impact of the public spending cuts or the austerity measures was what is known as access to justice. Now, in England and Wales, um, there is a program called Legal Aid, whereby um, if, uh, if, if an individual, if a plaintiff, needs to go to court to resolve uh, a matter, um, under civil law, then they will, uh, they will be eligible for legal aid if they cannot afford um, the, the, the legal fees themselves, for example, sister's fees. So they would be eligible for legal aid. But legal aid, um, since 2010, has been severely um, uh, reduced and therefore, many uh, people up and down England and Wales, and I say England and Wales because there's two legal systems in Britain, the Scottish legal system and the English legal system, English legal system which comes to England and Wales, but many ordinary people up and down England and Wales, in particular poorer people, um, blue-collar workers, they are no longer able to take issues to court to have them resolved in their favour because they can't afford uh, the legal fees on their own. Um, and because legal aid has been reduced, um, no longer able um, to rely on that. Um, also as well, um, many solicitors firms um, have, um, have closed down in England and Wales because of the cuts to legal aid. So um, in some cases, you could have a single mother of, say, two or three children um, who needs to uh, see a solicitor um, on the basis of legal aid, but her local uh, solicitor's firm has closed down, so she would need to make a, a two-hour journey to the next solicitor's firm, but on the way there, she'd be incurring significant uh, travel costs. So, for on the, so first of all, um, access to justice allowing um, any citizen of England and Wales um, to go to court on the basis of legal aid um, has been severely uh, reduced. But then also, as the um, as the judge in the uh, in uh, in his report said uh, recently about uh, civil justice. Um, the, uh, the, the funding for courts in England and Wales, but also Scotland and well, as well, um, in some cases has gone up, but in some cases has been reduced. Um, and, there are, and there are so many cases going through courts, for example, uh, divorce cases. Um, so we're facing a system, uh, we're, we're facing a situation now, in particular in England and Wales, whereby courts um, are just have such a large backlog of cases um, that people are having to wait years um, for their case to go before a judge and in the meantime are suffering. They're either suffering um, economically, uh, financially um, or mentally as well because of the strain of whatever they're going through. Now, um, the English legal system is arguably or undoubtedly um, the best in the world. It is the, the most respected in the world. However, um, the current situation uh, doesn't bode very well for the reputation of the English legal system. So hopefully um, uh, senior judges and senior lawyers, solicitors, barristers, um, and the government will be able to sit down and try and resolve this matter because um, one of the defining um, hallmarks of Britain in the world is its legal system and it's something along with the National Health Service that Britain um, and Britons are very, very proud of and it would be a terrible, terrible tragedy um, for the English legal system um, uh, to be jeopardised any further and to lose its number one position in the world as the most respected um, and the most fair legal system 